everybody. Welcome to episode two of the Buster Cast, uh, the, ooh, only, the only ooh, podcast where ooh. we've ever, me and Ben have done something by ourselves. Uh, is that is I, that true? I think was the it Buster is. Cast the only other one. Uh, that that could be true. Yeah, we I have... think we've we've done other things not PCP related, but when it's just mm. us two, I think Buster Cast was the only thing. I think you're right, actually. We did have the little D&D back and forth that one time, but they were two separate videos, That's so it true. doesn't count. That's nothing true. nothing counts. Um, so what is it? It's uh it's July 5th. Yeah. And we are what is what is it going to be like a month now since YouTube deleted our videos for no reason? That is and true. And has just told us like no we'll fix it no we'll fix it no nah, our internal team's gonna take care of it no nah, don't worry about it M- much like the government responding to covid saying everything is fine and then doing nothing and letting it get worse youtube is modeling that uh style for success quite well unfortunately like and here we are if they were gonna fix it they could just do it and if they don't care and aren't gonna do it They could just not answer our emails. (laughs) Right. I don't understand this weird middle ground. And I don't know why it should take this long. This is how they keep the peons in their place. They pretend to care. There's just some algorithm that just is appeasement.exe and just sends out those emails. (laughs) Just why even pretend? Why even pretend? It's just making me matter. It's just making me matter. But we're not we're not rebelling. We're not going to youtube hq and shooting it up like someone else did because we have this tiny thread of hope (laughs) keeping us from going on a riot i mean there will come a time (laughs) when words will no longer be sufficient that's true uh an action will have to prevail uh i guess we're not there yet like they're just they're just delaying the inevitable um they they it's so bizarre. The way this whole thing has transpired is so bizarre. Like, there was no need. There was no need for any of this to happen. They just, like, someone, like, read a, an email wrong or something. It was like, oh, this channel was hacked. Better delete all their content. It's like, no, this was solved already. You it's, solved it. And then you came back and unsolved it. It's very incredible how, like, oh, we're going to delete this entire channel. Then we're going to bring it back. Then we're going to delete a quarter of an entire year's worth of uploads. Yeah. Because, like, that seems like it would be more effort. Like, it seems like something you'd have to go out of your way to do, as opposed to be, like, a a consequence of some automated system. It seems something so fucked that automation couldn't be responsible for it. And yet, here we are. I just don't know. You think it is automate... You you don't think like a, a human being sat down and was like, let me decide which no. of these things need to be deleted. I yeah. think if it was by a human, there would be like patches in between those two dates where things stayed, right? Because like it's just like everything from one ninety five forward was deleted, Ex- except for that one stream. Inexplicably, that one the Radcon opening ceremony stream escaped it. N- no reason why. <laughs> So I it's think the one I think, exception. I think unfortunately, it's a, it's after four weeks of time. I think it might be time to finally uh, bring up the question: What do we do? Yeah, considering they this don't is probably back. not going to be solved. It seems as if. But they but they keep telling. Okay, like I understand, but they keep telling us through email. They keep saying, "No, no, we're going to fix it. No, no, we're going to fix it." Well, I mean, uh. Corporate CEOs keep telling me that if I work hard, I'll be rewarded. And yet I'm still poor and not rich yet. I yeah, but I I understand the motivation for keeping you poor, Tom. That makes perfect sense to me. Uh, And if I were in their position, I would do the same. But this their motive. I don't understand their motivation for just telling us they're going to solve the problem if they don't intend to. I guess it's just part of their long game to keep me poor. I guess it's all my fault. (sighs) I think if they really just weren't going to do anything, they would just say we can't do anything. I don't understand why they wouldn't just do that. Do we just need I, to yell more? Like, have we just not yelled enough? I do think that it's like I was going to yell on Twitter some more. But then I saw that like Nate had been like emailing them like fairly, you know, a, a, a fair, somewhat regularly. And he had gotten a bunch of responses from them. And so I was like, OK, I guess they are still talking. I guess they're still communicating with us. We don't really need to raise a stink on social media. 
but like a month is a long time and i just don't believe that it takes this long yeah i'm so confused i'm so confused why they're going to pro- why would they make any promises and then just ignore- why not just ignore us completely if that's what they want <laughs> like I don't know, man. It's it's a mystery, my dude. Well, mm. I mean, if the day comes when we are like, okay, the videos are never coming back. Um, I I think I don't know. I maybe all, but at the very least, most of the content people people have it like saved. Like, like I've heard, I have had people on Twitter, and there have been people in the YouTube comments saying, hey, I have some of the Radcon stuff saved, or I have some of the streams saved, or whatever. So, worst case scenario would be, yeah, we lose the initial videos, we lose the initial views and comments and stuff and all that, but we can re-upload it. I really don't want to do that. No, I do not either. But... Yeah. I mean, you in particular, right? The Animorphs lecture. If it like, it, did they get like two hundred thousand views more? It was. I don't think it hit two hundred yet, but it was getting there. It was like a hundred and eighty something, I think. Yeah, it was going on two hundred thousand views, and without that, you know, it's a big loss. Yeah. Which is I'm, why I'm I'm willing to just kind of hold off and be like, let's see, let's wait and see what happens. Let's wait and see what happens. It took them forever for us to for them to fix the the hack the first time and by the time they finally did it i was convinced they weren't going to so i guess maybe i'm a little more hopeful this time because i was proved too too pessimistic in the past um but that is you know we have that option and i think that probably so if you're listening to this and you've got some shit saved you know hang on to it there is a real possibility we'll have to put out a fucking call to be like, hey, everyone, if, you, if we, anyone who's got our old shit saved, we'd really appreciate it. That's all. That's all we can do. We, I mean, I have some stuff saved, um, but not most of it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I have some of my own stuff. <sighs> mm. Coconut milk. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Boy, it's frustrating though. Boy, it makes me fucking mad. It's pretty, pretty bullshit. Pretty lame. Pretty lame yeah. and gay and not cool. So that's the situation with that. How's how's your week been? Were you were you on last week? It was you, me, hippo, right? Yep. Yeah. So how's your how's your week been in the time since then? It's been it's been chill. Just kind of chill, working, grinding, doing grinding. a bunch of projects that i'm playing close to the chest right now trying to learn uh, things and get smarter and cooler and better <laughs> are they zoomy related or are they not zoomy related uh, a little bit of both a little bit of both mm. zoomy and not zoomy related okay um yeah it's pretty cool pretty neat hopefully someday they'll see the light of day that's kind of hopefully. the idea hopefully. uh digi finally said she's gonna mail me all the posters so we can get those out to the radcon backers i can't wait to do more grindy work right she said she she said she mailed him right yeah i'm assuming they'll probably be here in a few days cool 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 boy um well, that's pretty sick yeah it's nice to see that the patron shit or not the patron shit the kickstarter rewards are going out very exciting um for uh, uh, on my on my side of the aisle, uh, my my Kickstarter is is also I'm getting ready to send that because I have all the vaporettes, Tom. I have oh, all the vaporettes. My God. I have all six of them. Yes, I just it was last night. Jade sent me hers, and she was the last one. Now I got it. Uh, I have to like just put the pages together and like decide if I want to put in some like bumper pages to like keep things like even, like keep the left pages versus right page alignments right, right. or whatever what's I like the, fuck... what's like the page count what's like the the final the page count is it depends on whether i want to put any of those in but it's gonna like fi- like 55 to 60 or so damn which that's is um sick it's funny because like vapors 2 is only 15 pages long so it's like mostly guest content uh which is kind of how i hoped it would be uh i'm very happy a lot of the a lot of the vaporettes are long. A lot of them are like six, seven, eight pages. Um, pretty cool. 
That's so, a yeah, like, value. Yeah, so it's gonna be like fifty five pages. I sent. I've sent all the guest artists their their money. Their fat stacks of that vapor's cash. Fuck uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, it's uh, it's uh, I don't know. Like, if I can finish, if I can finish doing the layout stuff today, I will send out for a test copy to be printed. Get that in the mail. Look it over. Be like, yeah, looks good. And then I will send out for them to make like five hundred of them. And then it will be fucking time to do all that shit. Time to fucking address envelopes and start like doing doodles and people's copies and stuff. Mm, <laughs> <best>. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it. You gotta, you gotta do everything through stamps.com. So much easier. Stamps.com. You've told me about this. Yeah, that's what I use for all the Radcon stuff. Instead of like handwriting all the labels, I just, because you can imp, you can export a CSV file of all the patron information in a stamps.com mm. file, then import it. Mm. And then you just kind of go through and you, for each one, you say, this is the package weight, and then it'll just print out labels for you. If you print them out on label paper, you just slap them on there and have a good time. I I understand why that would be an efficient way of doing things, but I just kind of like labeling things by hand. Just I like just like that I, personal touch. I like to give it the little personal touch, yeah. I don't know, like, like, did you see the envelopes I sent for the first one? They were like the, black with like the silver black, Sharpie, right? They were, uh, they were written in whiteout on a black envelope. They using like a whiteout pen, uh, That's and they, cool. and they looked sick. And I'm gonna do that again. Uh, so you know, no shortcuts for me. Dab. Hmm. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and do a similar thing with the uh, the RFCK Kickstarter. I'm gonna try and. I have green envelopes. I'm gonna try and make them fancy. Oh, uh, God, you're juggling multiple Kickstarters. Well, that one I won't have to ship out for a little bit. Um, they are still in the process of like actually making the like test like the sample uh, 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 items. Uh, so I'll have to get those made, approve them, and then say like yes, make hundreds, please. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I, they will probably be shipping out at around the same time, more or less. But I don't mind. So like addressing envelopes is like thoughtless, busy work that's kind of relaxing to do. I'm not even like. I'm not dreading it at all. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah. I like I like that shit. It's the easy. The label stuff is pretty pretty zen. You just kind of like put on yeah. like some music or a podcast and just get it done. Exactly. The only thing that sucked is that for the rewards for GradCon, you had to like match up shirt sizes so it wasn't just like put label on, toss out of the way. You had to like go and sift through them all, which is a little bit yeah. more annoying, but eh, yeah. it's fine, yeah. whatever. This time because like the first time I sent out the Vapors Kickstarter books, um, not like a lot, but like a significant number, like maybe like a dozen different envelopes ripped. Like the envelopes just ripped. Maybe it was because they had a pin in them or something. Um, and like a lot of just people's like stuff got damaged in transit. This time I bought bubble wrap. So I'm going to put I'm going to tuck bubble wrap in there. I'm going to wrap the little pin in it just so it doesn't like prick its way through the paper. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking great. I have big rolls of it over here next to my bed. It's probably not enough. I'll have to get more, but that's fine. Uh, no, it's gonna be plush. It's Fuck gonna yeah. send it in, in plush. It's gonna travel in comfort and style. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and hey, I've been working on, I think I mentioned this last week, but I have, I've kept working on, um, Slime and Punishment finale. That's going pretty good. It's probably about half done. Sick. I think last time I said it was not quite half done. Now I've probably passed the halfway mark. Oh, it's gonna it's be exciting. Dope. What's gonna be... what's the ETA on that? Do you think? Uh, definitely before the end of the month. Oh um, damn. Yeah. Um, I should probably do a bunch of work on it tonight. Maybe after I do the vapors layout stuff, it will. When I get like when I get into the zone with it, it actually goes pretty fast. Um, when I but it's but getting into the zone is hard and takes like time. I have to like block out time to like sit down and be like, okay, I'm gonna make this shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this scene or whatever. Uh, there was a particular there was one shot that required making it goes really fast when there's not when it's about like video editing 
But when I have to like draw something to put into the scenes, that's what takes a lot of time. I had one shot that took me forever to draw because it was all these figures. I had to do two different frames and they all sort of move together. And that took me like four days (laughs) to just draw this, draw all, draw these figures all out in both different poses. Well, mostly it was the drawing. Actually putting them into the scene and having them move easy took like less than an hour. But the actual drawing was like, oh, I got to fill the scene with bullshit. Uh, the labor. Yeah. Those scenes are always a pain in the ass. They they are. They are. I hate them. <laughs> man, why can't done. I just... They look cool. Yeah. But, like, man, why can't I just have a bunch of, like, close-up on a face and shot reverse shot? Mm. That shit's, like... <laughs> that shit's easy. George That's... Lucas did it and made millions of dollars. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. He had the right idea. He invent. He literally invented it. Yeah. He, oh, he pioneered he caught... shot reverse shot in Star oh. Wars Episode One. He copyrighted it, so now I can't use it. I have oh, to pay him royalties. No. That's why. That's well, why Disney I have to do work. Now. Shit. Yeah. That's why he's not making them anymore. Disney bought him. They bought Shot Reverse Shot. So he's just like, I don't even know how to make movies anymore. <laughs> like I, I copyrighted movies. I copyrighted <laughs> editing. I can't do it anymore. Shit. I wouldn't put it past Disney. They're working on it. They got their lawyers chipping away. Mm. At like, can we just like own the movie format? We should probably abolish copyright um i just think i just think laws should only apply to uh people that have more and they should never be used against like people should be allowed like i was about to say abolish copyright but i was like no 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 no. don't abolish copyright but just only make it apply to disney like Disney can't steal from anyone, but anyone can steal from Disney. I think there's that's like, fair. There's like I think spectrum. that's completely fair. Laws are more strict the more successful you are. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. That should be how it works. <laughs> if you're so, already making like billions of dollars from your intellectual properties, there should be a there should be a gradient a sort of progressive intellectual property ownership where wherein it's like, okay, you've made a certain amount on your property, like you can't own it anymore. It's fucked up. <laughs> like, isn't nope. California kind of like doing that with like stealing and shit? Isn't like if you like steal something under nine hundred dollars in value, it's just a misdemeanor, and they they can't do anything about it. Uh, isn't stealing? I mean, that sounds like a, it would be a misdemeanor anyway. Oh God, what was it? There was like they changed something in California with stealing, and it's just like if it's under nine hundred dollars, like they can't prosecute you or anything, or you can't be arrested. Um, that sounds like something, I mean, that that totally sounds believable. Uh, I feel like there's already places that have laws like that. Well, like, wait, you're talking about, like, shoplifters, right? I guess. I just know that there was, like, a big stink about it a few months back, because people were just, like, going into stores and just, like, walking out with shit, and there was nothing anybody in the store could do about it, because it was, like... Yeah. The thing about that is that it's a totally victimless crime. (laughs) <laughs> and everyone should do it whether it's legal or not i feel like that that law should apply to uh big box retailers but like you shouldn't go to a mom and pa shop and like steal all their shit but you can go okay, into walmart sure. and like it's all free unless it's a thousand dollars or more basically yeah and even then if you're like <laughs> if the if the, if you'll like promise you'll be good they should just let you off with a warning <laughs> <laughs> you see like, everybody everybody sorry, should get officer, one everybody should get one again. Yeah, everybody gets one freebie where they can go in and steal like a a a like a hundred inch uh, uh, a flat Dude, screen TV or whatever. How sick is that? Uh, in California, the PlayStation Five will be free. Fucking base. Wait, what? Think about it. If it's under nine hundred dollars, the PlayStation Five is oh, gonna be under nine hundred dollars. You can just walk uh, in there and fucking I take see. one. <laughs> I see. Okay. Wait, hold on. It's not. Is it law or is it just like company policy? Because I know that a lot of stores have comp have like don't no chase company policies where like technically you're supposed to like stop a shoplifter but company policy is like you don't actually like follow them like if someone just picks up some stuff and walks out with it you don't do anything you say hey sir stop and that's it like that's the only thing you're expected to do because Uh. it's like a it's like a bad idea to do anything else. you're not a law enforcement officer you don't have the legal authority to like tackle someone and even if you did you wouldn't want your employees doing that because you don't want your employees getting fucking injured on the job like that's just gonna that's like leads to more problems for the employer um, i'm looking i'm looking at it i don't know maybe this is a different thing because this is from 2014 that must be older 
It says California Proposition 47 is what they were talking mm-hmm. about in some of these articles, but maybe that's not. I don't know. Mm. I'm mm. not in California. We're in the other liberal bastion, you know, on the other side of the yeah. country. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. We haven't done it yet. Um, shoplifting is good. <laughs> That's well, it. That's we know you have, have a personal vested interest in history with the subject. Uh, we um, looting is good. Um, Antifa is are the good guys. I mean, what? Whatever. You guys all know what I think at this point. What? I don't even need to show up. I don't even need to show up or say anything. It can it's all true. just be t- my opinions can all just be taken for granted. Eliazar can just insert like quotes from past episodes. Eliazar right just and just 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 paste in a bunch of times when I said that like we should eat the rich and then it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's you get the idea. No problem. Uh, we just added like another 45 minutes to the podcast just with that one edit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Splice All in right, every I guess time. it's time to go to voicemails. Finally. <laughs> um I feel like was there anything was there anything like that in the news this week? Any like bullshit happen? <sighs> oh, I went to a fucking I went to a like a protest yesterday. Oh, I uh, for the I fourth? broke I broke yes, I broke out of quarantine and I went and I did a march through Boston. Uh, I quit being a pussy. Uh, it was pretty funny. I actually got there really early because I had been out with, um, Munchie and Cassie the night before and I had like, uh, stayed over at like, I had, like slept on like their like dad's couch or something. Oh God. Uh, uh, as in Cassie's dad, not Cassie and Munchie's dad. They don't, they don't share a dad, mm. uh, as a matter of fact. Not yet. Lamal. Um, but I had like stayed over there. And I so I had to go through the city and I, it was the, the fourth and I knew that there was there was an event going on. I was like, well, since I have to fucking risk infection to travel anyway, I might as well stop in the middle and like do this thing. So I got there really early and I had to just walk around and wait for like several hours. And I ended up getting I bought a, I bought a big bottle of hand sanitizer to keep hands, you know, disinfecting myself with but i forgot to get sunscreen so i was out all day in the sun and i forgot to sunscreen and i am I, i'm all red and it hurts really bad today uh uh but that's but that's fine it was worth it um and the march was very it was pretty fun it wasn't it was like three or four hours which is like okay whatever it was kind of long but not like unbearably long and uh it was a little bit it was a little annoying because they slipped in a bunch of they slipped in a little bit of some like hippy dippy spiritual nonsense. You know what oh. I mean? Oh no. <laughs> there was I mean they they did some like they did some like African chanting, which like that's fine. I that's cool. I get that. But the the ladies that led it, they called them they called them the healers. Ooh, which is like, hmm, okay, okay that's fine. And like, and for the most part, you know, they they invoked some kind of like spiritual sounding stuff, which like, yeah, fine, fine, fine. But there was a part when we stopped at the Harriet Tub at a Harriet Tubman Memorial. This was like near like a house that I guess she lived in. Um, I don't know the fucking history of my own city, Lamau. Um, but this was a Harriet Tubman Memorial, and we stopped, and they sort of had like a moment of silence and like some deep breathing exercises, and like a like we want to honor. They were going to honor the spirit of Harriet Tubman, which, like, got it. Makes perfect sense. But then they added this a little bit more. They were like, we want to honor the spirit of water because water is oh. such a powerful elephant, e- elephant, such a powerful element in our tradition. As you like, you know, these water spirits, these merfolk, you know, followed our people across the oh, sea oh. in their slave ships. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, whoa. Okay. Do you want to honor the merfolk? Clearly they didn't do much to help. Like... The ele- yeah, yeah. They just were, they just watched. They were fucking centrists. They were like, hmm, slaves, slave owners. I can't tell the difference between these people. Maybe they're both a little wrong. Um, <laughs> so, so. I don't know. So there was a, there were a couple of little bits like that, but uh, you know, whatever, it was fine. Uh, right. uh, uh, it right. was very cool. We mar- we went in front of we went in front of the police department. I think it was the police department headquarters. It was near Ruggles, and it's this big. It kind of it's like a big blue like sort of fu- semi futuristic box. 
It kind of reminds me of the IDPD headquarters from Nuclear Throne. It looks a little bit like a prison and a little bit like a car dealership. Um, <laughs> that sums up the police pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> uh, we, we went right in front of it. And we chant, we chanted, uh, you know, uh, uh, no justice, no peace, abolish the police. Uh, it was pretty cool. They didn't do anything. It was perfectly peaceful protest, which means that it accomplished nothing. Nobody cared. But whatever. We made our statement. Unfortunately, nobody broke any windows. Sigh. Nothing was set on fire. Uh, maybe next time. Mm, well, um, yeah. Next time we get to get some of the merfolk involved. That'll that'll rile things up. <laughs> we, got this, we got it. We didn't invoke them hard enough. I guess not. The the mer spirits or whatever the fuck they called them. Uh, I don't know. I get it's har- It's harmless enough, but it's a little. It's a little. Feels like a little bit of a waste of time. Like I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about spirituals, and I'm not here to fucking. I'm not here to fucking worship the elements. I'm here to fucking defund the police right. and get killer issues. and get killer cops put in jail. That's all I want. Mm. And you're fucking it up. But it's fine. Cop it's fine. killers, not killer cops. Exactly. Exactly. Thank that's, you. That's going to be your fucking sign you bring out next time. <laughs> I somebody gave someone was handing out signs and I kind of wanted I don't know so I was holding up a sign but it wasn't one that I made and and it, I ended up just picking a kind of generic just like BLM one I was like okay this is fine uh I kind of wish that I had made my own and I could have made it a little more pointed uh, you know about specifically about like defunding the police or something right. uh, but you, I didn't you don't want to get confused with the merfolk uh, no, I'm not with them. There's yeah, like yeah. there's there's the defund the police people, and there's the mer spirits followed us from Africa people, and we have nothing to do with each other. That's that's uh, interesting. I don't that's know. Interesting. These these healers were a little whatever. They were fine. Uh, I you know you know they they went to all the trouble to organize this. I'm sure it was a lot of work. Uh, uh, do I? If I if I had been making the speeches, would I have said the ex- all the same things? Maybe not, but that's okay. Uh, 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 the doer it is it is the doer of deeds, you know, who matters. Not not the man who stands aside and says how the doer could have done them better. Whatever that Teddy Roosevelt quote is. Are we allowed to quote him? Isn't he a bad person? Isn't everybody a bad person who wasn't born like ten years ago? Um, Teddy Roosevelt is like you can cre- he's. You know, everybody's problematic. Everybody's got their issues. I think Teddy is, like, pretty good for the time. Like, is he a little racist? Like, yeah, sure. But he wasn't, like, a slave owner or anything, you know? He wasn't, like... Like, I mean, there's, like, that Edward Colton guy who they pulled down the statue of in in London that one time. And, like, he, like, literally owned, like, a slave trading empire. And then there's, like, Ulysses S. Grant, who owned one slave, but only because, like, his wife already owned the slave and he just married her while she owned it so it's like he technically did but like you know there there it, there are ben, degrees there it, are degrees that's a little that's a little <laughs> mm, that's a little am, mm. am i am i being a little problematic here <laughs> just a tiny bit you might want to oh oh he Lizard only owned that out. Oh, oh he only owned one slave like oh die <laughs> ben saint canceled like no but come on but come on all right like yeah teddy roosevelt was a little bit racist but he was like that like paternalistic kind of racism that's like ah uh, you know he was he was wasn't perfect, but you know he most most people were worse. You know he was pretty he was pretty progressive in his own way for his own time. So yeah, I think you that can Teddy only is be like... as progressive as the <laughs> culture you were born into. You know yeah, I can't twenty to years a from now extent, the fucking well, post Zoomers will be talking about all the problematic shit we did without well, even realizing it. I think you're right. I think that's true and untrue. Like I I think I think that anyone probably if they'd really cared to like take a long hard look probably should have known that slavery was always wrong but on the same time you know you know if everyone's doing it it does make it harder it does make it harder to be like to take a stand and be like you know what i won't own people i'm going to buck this trend yeah so i guess so i guess i see it both ways i guess if it's like that deeply ingrained you know it's kind of like us here like money pretty bad probably should get rid of it federal reserve die but it's mm. like, what are you going to do? Just stop using money? Like, you can't, really. So it's just like, well, yeah. I guess I'll just like, keep taking my hand out from the government. Like, like, um, yeah, I don't know. But slavery is bad, though. 
slavery was definitely bad. <laughs> in case, in case I'm not making this podcast going on the record to has say a, has a, slavery the official is position, in fact bad. The official position of the PCP is that uh, slavery cringe, <laughs> <laughs> pretty cringe, not at all based. Where, yeah. where we map slavery on our our three dimensional uh, uh, chart. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cringe, smooth brained. Oh, uh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cringe, smooth brained, and what's what was the other axis? Virgin, uh, very virgin, virgin. Very definitely virgin. virgin. Yeah. Super virgin. Mm-hmm. The wor- the worst corner. Yeah, but yeah. Pretty um, sad. so that's me. I'm no, I'm no longer a pussy. I did the thing. I I did an activism, and I feel good about it. You risked the Rona, which you you were worried you had for a while, but clearly that that doesn't seem oh, to have been the case. Did I talk about the Rona on last episode? Did I talk about that ice cream? Uh, I don't think so. Well, in brief, I bought a tub of ice cream, and I ate it, and then I was re- realizing, like, wait a minute, the seal was broken. Oh my god, somebody opened my ice cream and licked it to give it the Rona and put it back. And I have been, I am the victim of terrorism. Mm. However, I don't think that's true. I think it was just a factory defect. I went back to that same store and I looked at the same flavor of ice cream and they all have a broken seal. And in fact, and in fact, the next one I bought not only had a broken seal, it was like half empty. So now not only was I exposed to the Rona, I was also ripped off. So I need to go back and be like, uh, excuse me, I want to talk to your manager. Uh, this tub of keto ice cream was only like half full, and I would like a replacement, please. Thank you very much, essential you know, worker, risking your life to serve me. But please, but please fix this immediately. Thank you. I mean, you. if you're if you have the Rona and you want to spread it to the most people, you're not going to go for the keto ice cream. That's definitely you know you're not mag- min maxing your potential damage. You're right. I would want to. I would want to lick something that was like guaranteed to sell that day. Exactly. Like, cause, cause if you let it sit, it's, you know, the Rona only, only lives for so long. It's true. Although I do think it lives longer on, in the cold. I would like, assume so. So, well, I, I would have assumed that like sub freezing temperatures would kill it, but I don't think that's the case because it's not like, a, it's not like a living organism. It's like a virus, which is basically just like a glorified molecule. Um, so I do think it, it can survive sub freezing temperatures, but I think it just kind of naturally decays and like heat speeds that process along. So like living in the freezer is probably where it would be the worst and where it would last the longest. So, you know, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous stuff. Uh, although I don't think there's any cases of it having been spread in that way. I don't think I was looking it up because I was afraid and I think there's like no confirmed cases of it being spread through food at all. Um, and like obvi- also cases in Massachusetts are like way down now. Like we are one of I think we're one of only two states that is like still decreasing, has not fucking fucked themselves with like a, a poorly planned reopening. Um, the Commonwealth Lamau. works, I guess. Commonwealth fucking works. Wait, let me let me check right now. Um Massachusetts coronavirus cases. Are we still are we still on the decline? Are we still on the decline? It's like, oh, we were doing great until some p- crazy people started protesting about merfolk yesterday and now it's a huge spike again. Oh, Wait, no. um I don't see the fucking I don't see the fucking graph. Uh no, Massachusetts. If there's no graph, it didn't happen. Did I misspell Massachusetts? Mass Massachusetts coronavirus cases. I just want... I just... Okay, here we go. Uh, confirmed cases, 110,000, Lamau. Um, deaths, 8,000, Lamau. Uh, <laughs> Base. Um, okay, okay, Massachusetts, new cases in the last 60 days. Oh my god, show me the graph. Show me the fucking graph. My viewers are here. Not allowed, Ben. Not allowed. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Mm, we've actually ticked up a little bit, but oh. like it's st- eh, oh. but it's st- at the lowest we were getting like 100 cases a day. Now we're kind of up to like 2 to 300. So socialism uh, confirmed not working. God, but I mean at the worst we were getting like thousands a day. So, you know, it could be it could be worse, I guess. It's all right. It's okay. Mm, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to make it. Maybe someday. Dude, I I was reading, I saw something on Twitter about apparently in Florida, there's like 
new cases of this like amoeba that like goes in through your nasal cavity and like starts breaking down your brain and then there's been like 163 cases ever since it was discovered and only four of them weren't fatal and it's like happening and if you go in the water uh this amoeba can go up your nose and start breaking down your brain because it eats your brain oh and uh oh no yeah I was just like, well, it's a good thing I never go to the beach, and now I definitely never will ever in my life. Oh, no. <laughs> that it was, sucks so bad. Dude, it was like the worst. It's like, oh, man. Like, please, no. Let's not do that ever. I'll see if I can find the link and put it in the show notes, but it was it was pretty fucking bad. That's pretty cringe, dude. dude. Um, Yikes. Okay. I mean, it's a little up, bit more Chad than slavery, but it definitely is pretty close to the mm, bottom of our chart. It's, 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 yeah, it's a little more Chad and a little less virgin, but it's still pretty cringe. Yeah, definitely it's definitely cringe. not good. Definitely not good. Mm -mm. Um, I'm that I watched like some shitty YouTube video one time. It's like, oh, uh, top ten like stupid deaths, and one of them was like a guy bet his friend to eat a slug. And the guy ate the slug, but the slug had like, oops, the slug had a brain parasite in it, and he got a brain parasite and it ate his brain. Haha, <laughs> what a fool. What a nerd. Like, uh, he really fucking lost the uh, uh, the Darwin Award, won the Darwin Awards, that, and I'm like, oh my god, a brain parasite. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry just thinking about it. It's so upsetting. I found the link. Good thing I never ate a slug. Yeah, probably not a good idea. At the very least, cook. if you have to eat a slug, at the very least, cook it. Ah. Cook your food, god damn it. Yeah. Also don't and don't make slugs your food. I no. I would recommend. Ah. I was looking through I was I was trolling through Twitter a little bit last night trying to see if like there were any pictures of the march yesterday that I was in. I didn't find any. But I might go through again today and see if anyone posted any like late pictures that have me in them. I did take a few of my own, but like it's a little cringe. You're like, haha, I took a selfie. Like, haha. No, no, yeah. I need to let I need to let someone else do it for me. Yeah, if you do it, you're just like, you know, trying to get attention. But if someone else did it, it's just evidence that you uh were powerful. That's right. That I stood up for justice. Exactly. Mm. Ah, man. Uh JK Rowling's back. Oh she's back with she's back with more turf shit. Really? Yeah, Incredible. just doubling down, just doubling down her old that's, shit. That's really the only move you have to make once you're in her position, I suppose. It's it's that or apologize, and, uh, you know. <laughs> I, I think it's just like, at this point, there's just so much bad blood that apologizing would lead to nothing. Like, no one no one would care. They would still be mad, so she's probably just like, yeah, well, I don't really feel you know sorry, what? so I'm just gonna you know, double down. You know what? No, I don't agree. I think if at this point, J.K. Rowling, like really like looked into matters decided she was wrong like 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 understood like understood the point like understood why being a turf is bad and then came out and was like hey guys i was really messed up the stuff i said was wrong i got bad information and i had some like you know bad ideas that i needed to like get over and understand why they were wrong but now i've done it and i've completely changed my tune and I renounce everything. I think she'd be a fucking hero. I think everyone would be, people would be like dancing in the streets for you that. People so? like, oh, we, yeah, I do. Like All people right. would, people wouldn't have to, like people were so upset about their like, oh, we millennials sure do love Harry Potter. And oh, but now our, now our fave is problematic. Like, you oh, know, I guess that, I guess people our age would definitely cut her some slack just because Dude, of Harry Potter. The millennial, yeah. Uh, the Zoomers probably would. The Zoomers they don't give, would not. They don't would give not a shit. relent. They That's would. true. That's true. Um. Okay. Like obviously, some people would never forgive it, but I think a lot of people would, and I think a lot of people want to forgive Joe and would take any opportunity they could. Um. But uh, you know, she's just she's not interested in that. No. Um. Kanye West is running for president. Incredible. You see that? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> well, it's pretty amazing. I don't know. I don't know. Twenty twenty is a year that just keeps giving. You know, there's always something new to look forward to. 
I don't know if I think that like more if that's is that going to split the Biden vote or the Trump vote more? I don't really know. I think it'll probably it'll probably affect them both relatively equally, I would assume. Right. Because nobody really yeah. knows where Kanye stands at this point, because he was like on I mean, Trump's dick for a while. And then it was like, haha, I deceived all of you. Stupid. So it's just like, that's so fucking stupid. Dude, what's what true? Asshole. What's false? Nobody yeah. knows. Mm, I was only pretending to. Tr- to it's like, to, is he really like, anything. you know, like a Bible thumper kind of guy? Is he really into God or is that a lie, too? We just don't know. Will the conservative think- Christians want to go with the guy who's talking about God, but it also, you know not white like we just it's there's so many questions i don't know i don't know i i i think it'll probably cut pretty hard both ways but also probably not very much at all uh and it won't matter uh it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine uh, i'm just saying i don't give kanye a shit. versus trump would be did you um uh, i mean would would you not like i feel like Okay, if Biden, if something happens and Biden can't, like, be on the ticket or whatever, or just, like, becomes irrelevant, and it just ends up being endgame, Kanye West versus Donald Trump 2020, like, 50 years from now in the history.exe tablet, because books will be destroyed by this point, it'll just be, like, the end of politics in America. This is when it'll happen. Like, this is when, like, politics literally just die, (laughs) and reality TV is politics, because it's just, like, the system has completely broken down at that point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a little bit. I mean, it would just kind of be a continuation. It it, it wouldn't even be that shocking anymore. No, um, it's, that's the whole thing. That's kind of yeah. like reinforces the point. It's like if Kanye West versus Donald Trump, like, would you be surprised? You'd be like, mm hmm. Did, and did you like see? Capstone. Did you see Kanye? I think it was this week tweet out like this, like emotional tweet. It's like, I'm so proud of, you know, my beautiful, gorgeous wife, um, Kim, or whatever, right? I'm so yeah. proud. I'm so proud of my wife, Kim. She's officially a billionaire. I love her. And, you know, I knew she could do it, right? And, like, and there was, like, a little, like, artsy little photo. He made a little collage for her or whatever. And it's like, dude, you fucking monster. I hate you. I hate your wife. Read the fucking room, you miserable piece of shit. You are a fucking moron, and I cannot fucking stand you in the slightest. You are a blight. Oh, it made me so it made me so fucking mad. Like it would make me mad. Like if that were true, it would make me mad. And I'm sure it is true. Right? That fact alone makes me true. But the fact that he like thinks that he should tweet it and be like, yes, this is a cause for celebration. It's like, just kill yourself. Like, just, just die. That's just like the bourgeois version of getting a million subscribers, you know? They're just, that's the kind it's of like, excitement it elicits. I feel like even under normal circumstances, it's gauche to be like, guys, my wife's officially a billionaire. Like, fuck off. Like, I've seen, I've seen YouTube channels be like, hey guys, listen. Like, I've seen them embarrassed to make the announcement that they have like, paid off their student loans right but like they're not poor anymore right like that's embarrassing for some people to ask like like that's the kind of situation we're in and then you like you're Kanye and you're like dude i gotta let everyone know i'm already a billionaire but now you gotta let them know my wife is one too this is they're all gonna be so fucking happy for me it's so gross if your wife it's so fucking gross if you're a billionaire and you're married to your wife isn't she automatically a billionaire by like default um I think, um, I mean, I think some people don't have joint accounts, right? Kanye's like, I got to keep my shit safe. I don't even trust her. I mean, maybe, I guess, I guess, like, generally, it's considered that when you, if you get divorced, like, you split your ass, you split assets 50-50, but if, like, maybe they have a prenup where that's not the case, or maybe they just have, like, split accounts, so, like, even though that is the case, like, it's... I guess it's probably just her business ventures are now evaluated at a billion dollars or whatever. Like, they're not technically her assets yet or something, Mm. or whatever. These are Uh, questions that I've never had to contemplate and never will. It's... It it doesn't matter. Like, uh... I saw... I saw a tweet... From this guy, um, I think his name is Benjamin Dixon. 
sort of like a political guy. He he shows up on C- CBS sometimes. He shows up on the news every once in a while. He's a fucking good socialist boy. And he made like a tweet. It was like crying emoji. And it was like that face when you got it. That face when you got it. Oh, what was it like? You, you got to like. I'm going to misquote it, but it was like when you you got to criticize hip hop because hip hop is like all about that grind and hip hop idolizes capitalism and just says, if you're poor, you're just not working hard enough. And I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. And Kanye is also like that. Kanye is all about the brag rap. I mean, not exclusively. He does sad raps, too. I mean, he's kind of his own beast, I guess, but he does. But he, he brags about his money like a lot of people do. And I hate that shit. I hate it so much. Uh, 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 I hate, I hate that, uh, I hate that, uh, there's a certain segment of the population that doesn't think you should be embarrassed to be a billionaire. Those people are cringe. They are the problem. They are, uh, 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 I hate them. I hate them. I just hate them. It sucks. It just seems like even if you are proud to be a billionaire, not something you should probably be saying right now, considering the, yeah. the social political climate. You might want to like, keep that in the back pocket for now. What is it like, like, um, you know, like four, like, is it four million people are unemployed right now? And like something insane like that. There, but and that the, like there's another statistic, like it's like like the top, like the top one percent has like increased its wealth by like, uh, you know, 25 percent. Like, right. like, like some like some vast amount of money has moved itself from ownership of like the proletariat to like the hyper elite bourgeoisie. Like this As, is this is yeah, just a fact. The norm, the normal flow of capital has only increased. The normal flow of capitalism, which like you know, they did the CARES Act, which like did all the like extra um um uh, unemployment benefits for people losing their jobs, which was good. Right. But like a much bigger part of the CARES Act was just bailouts for corporations and yeah. and they stuff. They reversed a bunch of tax laws, so like all the the tax money they would normally lose, they'd get back. Yeah. So, you know. You know. That you know that happens. It's yeah, just, it's just the system doing what it does best, and it's like, oh, but like all this money's going to the poor. It's like, yeah, but the Federal Reserve just creating this money, so it's not like it's anything's being redistributed. They're just making new money, giving yeah. it to you, but they're also making your money less valuable because of the natural result of inflation of adding trillions of dollars to the economy. And mm-hmm. so, long term, you're. It's just the the billionaires making out like bandits again and it's like your pittance is worth less with every dollar they print they, every month to con- they, they, continue to subs- satiate you they threw us a bone but they threw the people that own your asses a way bigger bone right. so like you sh- appreciate the bone but like understand that they are fucking us <laughs> a right. lot it's like they uh, served yeah. they served the bourgeois their their silver platter d- dinner and then threw us the scrap once it was yeah, done. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly it. That's exactly what they did. Most they of it went they to tr- them. They they try to obfuscate it so you don't realize that you're just getting table scraps. It's like, oh, Donald Trump cares about me. He personally signed my check. He personally hundred dollars. Dude, what a piece of shit. He personally signed the check. I can't. That's fucking funny. That's mm-hmm. just fucking funny. Donald Trump, funny guy. Kind of like him, honestly. Four more years. <laughs> MAGA. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. Clip that. Put it everywhere. Hashtag no, cancel no, that no, insane. No, no, it's no. happening. No, 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 no. Uh, hey, I actually have to pee all of a sudden. I've been drinking coconut milk and coffee. Do you want to oh. spit? Do you want to ad lib for a minute? Uh, sure, quick, I'll try. Quick, freestyle. Lay down a beat. All right. No, I'm not doing that. Not, not in these sensitive times with race relations. Am I going to try and appropriate black culture? Um, no, this is going to be a perfect time for an ad segment. Hey guys, you're listening to this on Spotify or some podcast platform. And you're like, man, the procrastinators are not uploading on YouTube anymore. And since the procrastinators aren't uploading on YouTube, I literally have no reason to go on YouTube. Well, worry not because I have continued the hyperbolic wine chamber, my own personal podcast that I used to do on the procrastinators channel on its own channel. And it uploads three times a week. So if you are just like, man, I really wish I could get the best PCP member, me, uh, to be more active and do more things and be on YouTube so I don't have to tab over to Spotify or wherever because it's just so much fucking work and I'm a lazy Zoomer and I've just been conditioned by easy fucking internet culture. Well, just go on over to search Hyperbolic Mind Chamber on YouTube and you'll get podcasts three times a week and and, uh, do it. 
do it. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. And if you're a patron, you get early access a week early and you can uh, get the 50 episodes of the bonus podcast where you get to decide what the topics are every week. Do it. Wait, Tom, did I just leave to go pee and I come back and you've taken the opportunity to plug yourself? Yeah, it was an ad segment. Why yeah. don't you go plug your yourself? When you shove it up your asshole is what I'm saying. Sure. That's okay. Fine. okay. That's fair. Okay, cool. All right, That's nice. That's fair, considering. <laughs> Pretty <ignorant> big. <laughs> um, hey, funny story. I was, we were taught, okay, about the unemployment thing and the CARES Act, right? Right. It was called the CARES Act, cute acronym. Yeah. They're doing, they're doing like another one that I guess they're still debating the, um, like the, the, the minutia of, and this one is called the HEROES Act. Very oh, cute God. acronym. Cringe. I saw... I saw another one. This was a story about like, oh, I, I, I might be misremembering the details. I think it was that like a law was passed um, criminalizing hair discrimination in the sense of like um, uh, you can't discriminate on someone based on their hairstyle. The idea being that like black people wear their hair differently and you can't like you can't discriminate for jobs based on that. Right. OK. Which is fine. But this. This act, it was called the Crown Act, as in like the crown of the head. And I'm like, how are all these fucking pieces of legislation have these cute ass acronyms? <laughs> like, how do they fucking get away with it? I think they're just like, uh, like 90% of the time and effort is put into thinking up a cute little acronym for it because they know that's how like people will read it in headlines. And it's like the name's really important. That's how I we're do... going to get public support. I do think that maybe there is a there is a certain amount of effort that you have to spend. It's like, yeah, you can write up a really good piece of legislation, you know, and like maybe make it, you know, work on like, ooh, is it bipartisan enough? Like, will it pass the Senate and Congress or whatever? Like, okay, it was a good, good, good. But also, does it have a really catchy nickname so that people will know what it is and remember it, and it'll like get people talking about it, right? And it'll make it sound better, you know, like yeah, if, if it was just like. Uh, government stimulus four seven six three. That's like cold and uncaring. But if it's the CARES Act, the CARES I cared Act. about the Heroes Act. I not... I'm a hero. I'm working hard out in COVID, and I'm not getting paid any extra money. Nobody cares. But but I'm a hero, and that's what this bill <laughs> says. So I'm okay with it. I will vote yes for the Heroes Act. I will vote yes for Donald Trump in 2020. CAG. Uh, I just love it. I just, you know, I just love just MAGA and CAG. They're just fun to say, you know, they got that marketing down. Yeah. Yeah. Cares Act. Heroes Act. Crown Act. Yes, please. How could you vote no on any of these things? Names How are could important. You, names are important. At the very least, I wouldn't have even remembered that that hair thing, except that it was called the Crown Act. And I just exactly. thought that was so that was so funny. <laughs> tisk tisk. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, what else? What else is going on? What else is going on in the world today? Oh God, the world is just a fucked up, weird place right now. Uh, sure, sure. It's good, good, good times. Uh, mm, 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 I don't know about that. I don't know if I can agree with you on that much. Mm, you know, being a little facetious, a little facetious there, but it's okay. I'm still trying to do 3D printing. 3D printed a couple more things. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to make a model that I'll actually be able to 3D print. I have this great idea for this cool, like, diorama print I want to make with all my characters uh, based off a splash page of a comic that I'm thinking of also doing. Oh, it'll what be it, cool. What do you mean a diorama print? What does that like, mean? Um, well, basically, the idea is, like, there's, like, I'm working on an Izumi project, and, like, the last page is, like, this big single illustration of, like, these two characters facing each other down. Mm. And I'm thinking, like, if I take that and, like, print it you could have like a full like little diorama of this because it's just going to be a 3d environment and two 3d characters so you just put that in the little slicer then i can print that page out in 3d and then have a full like 3d physical version of the last page of a comic book and i just think that's pretty cool and i want to try on. and do that hold on what do you mean by 3d exactly so like i'm gonna i do like 3d models right yeah you know, that's like my art now i do like 3d yeah, and yeah so yeah, yeah. If I'm doing a comic Do you mean it's book, like Magic Eye? Uh, no, no. I mean like literally <laughs> 3D printed. So it's like a three-dimensional sculpture. Oh, God. Wait, how big would it be? 
Um, the printer doesn't print super big. I think it can print up to like an eight by eight cube. Hmm. I okay. <laughs> it would be really funny if you were like, it's gonna be a magic eye. <laughs> you can hang it up. Uh, 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 well, now I you've given me the idea. I wasn't sure if you meant that Get it was that like '90s kid money. I wasn't sure if you meant that it was like stereoscopic 3D, like red and blue, you know, Ooh. or if it was like uh, you know 3D as in like it's 3D sculptures, right? As in it's like um right, um, right. um rendered, like rendered. 3D's 3D is used in so many variations yeah. now. You can never be sure. Right, right. People or do that was, on Twitter. Yeah. Like there are guys like you can you can do stereoscopic 3D renders. So mm -hmm. like it'll render the thing twice and then if you like squint your eyes, it'll make it look like popping out at you because of the way like your eyes work and how like there's a slight bit of separation. And so there are people who are like will just upload to Twitter like 3D models like a turnaround but like two of them slightly off center from each other so if you kind so of like you cross like your cross eyes, your eyes and yeah yeah it yeah, merges yeah. into one thing and it pops out of the screen at you and i'm like whoa mm. that's some space age tech right there mm -hmm. the future is now mm. permanently fucking up my eyesight just to have this pseudo 3d <laughs> effect on twitter.com hell yeah ah oh, man uh art's cool too bad too bad the world is broken. Arts, art sucks, dude. Art sucks. What a waste of time. No, no. <laughs> what a fucking. I mean, it is a waste ass. of time, and it yeah. is boring, and it is gay, but it's still pretty. Thank cool. you, thank you. You're right. No, I agree with everything, but not that. It's not cool. Nothing is cool. <laughs> Everything's cringe. It's boring and it's gay, and being cool is impossible. So therefore, boring and gay is all that's left. See, if you put if you put art on our our cube grid you know our our chart it is okay, it is all the way in the cringe corner it's cringe but... virgin and smooth brain it's smooth i don't brain. know if it's I'm smooth sorry. brain it's not smooth brain you have i to, think you... it's smooth brain it, mm, no i think caring about art is smooth brain but being able to do art itself you got to be kind of not smooth brain to do it it takes like effort you know mm. But, like, it's in that corner so much in, like, the cringe corner that it, like, punctures through into, like, you know, a parallel universe, Mario 64 style. And now it <sighs> no. starts becoming based. No, that's just, that's, that's the, um, that's like the, 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 the death rattle of someone who's so cringe that they can't, that they know they're never coming back. They say, oh, no, I'm actually so cringe that I circle around to being based again. No, no, you're mm -hmm. just an idiot. You're just a fucking mm. nerd and you can't Perhaps. escape from that. You're Perhaps. in the fucking cringe basement and I've locked the door up, and you'll we'll never come out. The, the people. It's, it's leave a comment a... below. Oh, wait, you can't. We're not <laughs> uploading this to YouTube. Owned. Um, absolutely pathetic. I bet they look too. I bet they. Oh, can I? Can I? Can I scroll down? And leave? Oh, oh no! Because I'm listening to this on. Wait, is it it's on, on the Spotify? Because I'm listening it's to this on, on theprocrastinatorspodcast.com, and such oh. a thing is impossible. Yes, alas. Some someday true. the site will be worth going to. Maybe. I mean, it's worth going to. If it's worth just going want, to right now because it's it, where the podcast is. It's worth going to if you just want to see a list of the fucking things. And also see... Oh, I see that... Wait. Oh, I see that this is like... This is something that I would not have noticed in the description before. But there's a link here to a, a video by Oblivion Fall saying like how to like have good audio quality for... I forgot that was there. Yeah, I for I forgot that was the thing, but I see it pop up on the website because like of the way it like handles links or whatever. Hmm. We also have this really aesthetic plant with a nice uh, bokeh background where you go to the website. It's right there. Did I? It's like the the header image for some reason. Did I? Did I tell you about the aloe? Did I mention the aloe um, about about how I got sunburn yesterday and my. And I needed like aloe to rub on it, and my roommate has an aloe plant, and he just like cut one of the leaves off and gave it to me, and I just had to like squeeze the leaf and like squeeze all the goo out of it and just like rub it Ooh. on my body, just Damn. raw. And you know, I was disappointed. Is aloe have you ever... slime adjacent? Do you think aloe is aloe is just full of slime? It's just full of slime. It's kind of true. But here's the thing: Have you ever had like an aloe drink? Uh, a few times. Not yeah. exactly my favorite thing, but it, I like it's, it them. Exists. I like them a lot. So I was like, "Well, I'm gonna taste what this raw aloe tastes like," and I was like, "Maybe it'll be a little sweet, but probably not. It'll probably just kind of taste like grass." Because I know that, like, um, 
you know, they add sugar and stuff to an aloe drink. I didn't think it would taste like the drink. Turns out it tastes so bad. It actually tastes. It actually tastes like you're like biting into like a uh, an a- an aspirin pill or something. Mm. It's that ben, ben, bad ben Saint, and bitter. Uh, yeah, uh, legendary person known for uh, not endorsing eating slugs, but consumes aloe of his own volition. It's a plant. Yeah, it's a fucking plant. Yeah, it's like, oh boy, what what wacky. Like oh, what did he what did he find like a f- he just plucked a fruit off a tree and ate it like boy what a what a crazy thing to do it could uh, like, it who, could have a fucking brain eating amoeba in it dude you never know you're you're right you're technically right um it's, it's a look I just wanted to taste it and you know what I did and I'm not sorry um, um but aloe is very much slime adjacent it is an extremely slimy plant. Um, and you know what? I think it might have worked. I think rubbing its blood all over me actually helps because I don't feel too sunburning. It's, it's pretty killer. It's pretty killer. You know? <laughs> yeah. Cutting was, something open and rubbing its medicinal blood all over you. <laughs> it was just like, you know, it had it was slime time, like just like in Slime and Punishment. You know, the cop killer, he's got to have his slime time. And, and I had it and it was based. Um, do you want to go to voice? Do you want to go voicemails? Yeah, we've we've done an hour. We've done okay. our due diligence. I think so. I think so. Speakpipe.com, my friends. If you want to uh, stick it to the man and leave a voicemail, even though we should be paying for it, but aren't. Speak, uh, speakpipe.com slash PCP voicemail. Um, and hey, maybe go to the procrastinatorspodcast.com and check out that informational video by Oblivion Fall about how to get good audio quality if you want to yeah. impress us. Um, all right. So first one we got this week is from send ducking help motherfuckers mm, um, that's a big ask yeah i wouldn't count on it frankly um but let's see what he has to say all right three two one go i did a blunt two dabs a round of pipes jameson uh whiskey bourbon beer i did everything out of the fucking sun except the toad and now I'm at work, motherfuckers. Send fucking help. Send fucking help, motherfuckers. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So that's just... Was starting that starting out strong today? <laughs> was that Riddle My Ass Batman? That sounds like Riddle My Ass Batman. I think that was just Riddle My Ass Batman being drunk at work and calling and just miss messaging the voicemail. You know, um, sorry, I think it's too late. This was sent six it, days ago. Sticking it to the band, though, I appreciate, I respect the, <laughs> the the effort. You know, absolutely. We need to unionize and get every win everyone the the constitutional right to be drunk at work. I think you know that's Cons- fair. Cons- construction workers, you know, uh, uh, truckers, Uber drivers. Yeah. I mean, what what's is the ba- worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Why it it's a human right? I just think it's a human right. That's all. Uh, all right, another one from Riddle My Ass Batman, halfway sober this time. Uh, this one's 50 seconds long, so I might get bored, but let's, let's find out. Three, two, one, go. Hey, PCP, two things. Uh, one, if you played the help me, motherfucker, <laughs> I need help kind of video. We did. We uh, did. That was not a joke. I really was fucking obliterated. We could tell. Okay. <laughs> we we know. <laughs> and second, uh, well, I'm still a little hungover. Uh, and second, <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a comic, like an internet comic. So for the draw boys out there, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Like, would a comic about the Riddle My Ass Batman series be a good idea? And if so, yes. where do I post it? How do I go about that? Blah, 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 if blah. He- this okay. question's too long. Sorry. Awesome. It's fine. It's Thank fine. you. All right. Bye. Uh, uh, um, well, we just had a long discussion about how art is gay and the worst thing ever. So my yeah. answer is definitely yes, do it. Uh, if you, I mean, li- if you want to do it, then that means you should do it. So, like, that's it. Like, that's the beginning and the end of answering the question for me. Do it if you want. Wanting to do it is all the reason you need. Um, true. Where to post it? Um, I mean... What do you think? Where do I mean? You know, there's a you can post it on like. I mean, tapas is web fine, web I guess. web webtoon tapas. Just post it on. I would twi- definitely put it on Twitter and at 
you yeah. Know, people. Yeah. So that, that's a good way of discovery. And then you can have the full thing on something like Tapas or Webtoon or shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. P- post it and all, post it like on every platform you can. And on everywhere you post it, link to all the other ones, right? Yep. Like that's, that's how you. You gotta, you gotta break, you gotta break your way in somehow, and you might as well just do the biggest all-out like m- social media blitz you can. There's no reason not to. Uh, yeah, post it everywhere. That's the answer. Okay, next one is from a new bit. Uh, three, two, one, go. Uh, what's up, gamers? Just got back from the gym, ready for another <laughs> daily Q and A. <laughs> First yeah. question this week. Fuck yeah. If podcasts only come out every gym. week, how will you do a daily Q&A? Uh, what? S- something about, like, dog? God, this lost all its momentum. Days? Wow. You can tell he's new at this. It's okay. It wasn't very funny. Come back next day for another daily q God, fuck off. Oh, God, you had, me, you had me so hyped. Damn. That was... was- it was like that was a huge drop off. It was, was like, like a vertical drop. This video, this this voicemail was designed to be like, dude, we're in for a treat now. And like, ooh, where's it coming? What's gonna be the punchline? Oh, nothing. Oh, I lost the thread. Oh, what am I? Uh, sorry, I made this voicemail, guys. Goodbye. Close though. Close. He had he had it. All he had to do was ride that wave to the end. He couldn't. He couldn't stick the landing. As um, the the person <laughs> who invented the Q and A, you have I, potential. But you gotta you gotta spend more time in the gym, both <laughs> working out and working on your bit. Tom invented the Q and A like George Lucas invented shot reverse shot. Exactly. Every time you use it, We're you have both to pay him royalties. Of our time. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of the gym, will today? You know, I got walking around Boston yesterday, marching. I got more exercise than I got than I've gotten in months. Maybe I wonder if now's the time to capitalize on my like. On my on my going. on my improve energy, yeah. Because like you say, you can't wait to go back to the gym. I have no excuse because my gym is in my basement. Mm. Will today be the day? Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Will tomorrow Ooh, be the day? It's not a good know. sign. No. Tune in next week, everybody. I'm still to see sore. If ben no, my failed. feet hurt. No, my feet oh, hurt though. Wah, I'm wah. sunburned. It hurts. Ah, cringe. Ooh, sore. Oh god, you're dropping rungs oh, back into the cringe no, corner. No, shut up. Of the no, chart. I'm not. That's not true. No, I, if I go down deep enough, I can circle back around and be based again. Nah, just kidding. Oh. Impossible. <laughs> Physically impossible. Conservate. We the law. This universe operates according to a certain law, and that law is known as the conservation of cringe uh, or of based. And 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 one one thing can only become cringe as something else become based. You can't just you can't create baseness out of nothing. Therefore, mm. therefore, there's no such thing. Like like there must be a gradient. You must fall along a gradient. Okay. There's, there's no fractional reserve cringing in our That's system. Right. I don't Damn. think so. How unfortunate. I, I think if there was, we would have seen it by now, and they just we just don't have the evidence. It's fair enough. So next one is from Toa. Three, two, one, go. Hey there. Oh. Can I see your feet? Can I see your feet? You know, I you know, was really hoping this was going to be a Bionicle thing. Totally <laughs> let down. Completely oh, couldn't oh, be a bigger Ryan. disappointment. Um, Toa, buddy. Uh, 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 yeah, DM me. Restraining order is in the mail. <laughs> also that. Uh, okay. <laughs> ne- next one is from A Message to Ben. So this is going to be, this is going to be a <laughs> difficult. Oh boy. This is going to be emotionally challenging. So It's a uh, shame Ben's not on the podcast this week. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hey, Ben, three things. Please stop using Twitter. Like, Twitter is cringe, bro. It only makes yeah. people sad or angry. Second, mm. he's not wrong. You keep asking mm-hmm. what's the point. There is no point. There's no point to anything. And that's 100% wrong, percent base. I and know, finally, man. I please know. stop saying so much. You say like 20 times an episode. Like, every five <laughs> minutes you make... Ah, <laughs> I probably do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's, it. that's true. Uh, uh, thank you. Love you. Bye. Damn. Right on all points. He absolutely he, demolished you with I, facts I, and logic. I think he is right on all points. Um. Wait. What was the first one? Uh, oh, Twitter stop sucks. using Twitter. I know. 
Absolutely true. I actually have kind of stopped using Twitter. Though I haven't. I've barely posted the last like three days. I've I've like made a couple of retweets, and that's about it. Um. Uh. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, whatever. Okay. Yeah. He gets. He wins. He wins. I lose. He wins. Okay. Mm, message to mm. Ben. More like a message to base. All right. Message cool. received. Message Love received. That episode of Steven Universe. <laughs> Uh, next one is from Darren the Rad. Uh, three, two, one, go. So I'm going to say something super controversial, but uh, video games are the worst hobby. Fucking build shit. Um, Agreed. Hard agree. Uh, I don't know. They're I don't e- know if they're the worst hobby, but they're definitely not productive. I'll give what you that for sure. What, I mean, what does he mean by build shit? Cause like you, w- could, you you could be technically building shit if you're like building like model trains or something, and like that's equally unproductive. Like that mm-hmm. also doesn't accomplish I anything. I guess I guess you could say you're you're kind of like learning how to like you know construct things, and and I I wouldn't mm-hmm. say it's like super valuable. I would say in terms if if like video games have zero percent value, that's like. Z- one percent value if you wanted to you could go and be like oh video games improve your and hand-eye coordination or uh, video games that improve seems like a your... myth to me it, it, well that's how i feel about the oh well like you're learning to do construction or you're learning how to it's all a put stretch. Shit together i think if, if you say build things you mean like create something that yeah. makes more sense to me like build like a business or a side hustle or something like that do yeah. something productive even then, I wouldn't go so far as to say the video games are the worst. I think there are plenty of equally pointless hobbies. Oh, um, for sure. For sure. But uh, in essence, I agree that video games are the worst thing in the world. <laughs> and nobody should, and you shouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. They ruined my life. Um, yeah. Um, except uh, Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> Fight me on oh, Pokemon yeah. Showdown. There's exceptions to every rule. Of course, of course. Uh, next one is from Lack of Ben Solo Cast makes Arelo sad. Oh, Frowny I see face. what they're doing here. Mm, I see. You. I get it. I get mm. it. Three, two, one, go. Where is the Ben Solo Cast? Ben Saint promised it. He even said at one point it was a semi Ben Solo Cast. But here we are, without any conversation about the best Star Wars character, Ben Solo. Oh. Please help us, Ben Saint. You're our only hope. Disney has left Ben Solo out in the cold, only selling bad guy Kylo Ren merch, and yet we only have fan stuff to turn to, and the promised Ben Solo cast still isn't even here. <laughs> this is a little like his little like giggle at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, funny, funny joke. Uh, funny pun. Uh, uh, the Ben Solo cast was about it was gonna happen today, but then Tom yeah. joined at the last minute and ruined everything. It's so true. I'm sorry. Raylo is crying right now because uh, of you, Tom. You know How what? Does that I'm feel? proud. It feels great. Fuck the Raylos. Mm, mm, okay. There you go. I said it. Cool. Um, well, there you have it, folks. Uh, all right. Next one is PCP diss track. Uh, from. Do not play if there are less than three people on call at fuckyou.com. Hmm. Um, anyway, I'm going to play it. Uh, <laughs> three, two, one, go. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Okay. Ah, uh, there's a link. There is a link. I don't think... Okay, I, I opened the link earlier, and okay. it is it is like a four-minute long song. That's it is a, a disc. It is an anti PCP diss track. It is a. It is a. You know, it's laying the smack down mm. on our asses. I didn't listen to the whole thing because this was like a minute before the podcast started. But I will put the fucking link in the description if you want to go and check it out. This is this is from the this is from the uh, the Procrastinators Anonymous, uh, the Pro Anon cast. Um, so it's on their channel. I guess they wrote it. Uh, they are criminals. Um, but uh, I mean, go check. I'm looking check at it, it out. now. My my face is not in the thumbnail, so I would just have to assume that I yeah. uh, am not being dissed. In the thumbnail is uh, Gib Gib Nate Jesse Munchy me and Digi, and you're not in it. So uh, get fucked. It just uh, means I'm not. They don't hate me. Maybe. 
That's uh, it's, that's how that I'm gonna sucks. assume. That's stupid. That's yeah. so yeah. fucking stupid. From what from what little I've heard of the pro non cast, they stand me pretty hard over there. You really? Know? Yeah. Amazing. Feels good. Why? Why? I can't. Like, I have no why? idea. Like I don't I'm get not it. Look like, a gift horse in the mouth. What reason you know? could they possibly have? Like oh, okay, You're whatever. Just as good as mine. Hmm. Stupid. Um. The next one is from Cool Skellon. <laughs> okay. Oh God, this is this is a minute thirty. We're in for oh. a long haul on this one. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it's worth the time. All right. Three, two, one, go. Hey, the procrastinators. Uh, I just did a bit of a science experiment last night, and I wanted y'all to know about it. So, I, I was just listening to uh, PCP episode one twenty three. I'm a bit behind, I know, but I'm getting there. And I heard about, you know, when you're talking about, oh, your phone just listens to you, right? And it picks up advertising data that mm. way, as opposed to... I know this. I know what he's going to say. Are gay and shitty and bad. We use them and they're good. <laughs> but I, last night for like 30 minutes, I was high as fuck, right? And I was just... I, I was monologuing at my phone about how much I want to see cool skeletons. Cool skeletons. Skeletons with sunglasses. Skeletons on the beach with a margarita or perhaps one of those fucking uh, Seagram's fruit like beverages with alcohol. Mm-hmm. Like a tiny, tiny, like 5% alcohol, not even that kind of thing, and look like a skeleton in a Hawaiian shirt, a skeleton in Ray-Bans, a cool fucking skeleton, and I got it! I got the skeleton! <laughs> I, I opened up Facebook the next day, and it's a bunch of those personalized shirts, but instead of like a, like a, ooh. Was that it? Oh, uh, I guess he got cut off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cool, man. Sounds like the experiment was a success. Congra- this happened to me recently as well. I was Congratulations talking... on your cool skeleton. Yeah, yeah, go on. I was talking about how I was just talking to uh, my sister about how I was like having like a shitty time sleeping because she was kind of come over. I had something I had to give her. And uh, my phone just immediately popped up like 10 minutes later. It's like five apps to help you sleep. I'm like, oh, please never do that. Five, again. five what? Five apps to help you sleep better, oh, like a little personalized. So I immediately went in and turned off microphone access to all the apps. I'm sure it doesn't actually work. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel a little better. Um, somebody, wait, it was someone on Twitter. Uh, someone on Twitter messaged me. Oh, this guy No Bunt on Twitter said that uh, listening to the PCP and hearing me talk about gummies. Uh, infected his Amazon recommendations, and now he gets, <laughs> and now he gets his Amazon recommendations are full of like xanthan gum and stuff. This is some fucked up shit. This yeah. is a world gone mad. Wait, wait, hold on, hold the phone, pause, pause the podcast. Wait, Breaking really? news. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, uh, before this podcast started, I put it up something on Twitter saying I had a new T-shirt available, the Pixel Sunset T-shirt, because everyone oh. thought the background from Ninja Suffering was really cool, so I made it an all-over print T-shirt. Two copies have already been sold. Two shirts confirmed oh. sold in the time this podcast has been recorded. Oh, uh, amazing! Wait, Incredible. Are, they're on Teespring. These are Teespring, Teespring. all-over prints. Teespring.com. Oh. I am merch. There it is. It looks great. It's aesthetic. It took a long time to make the design because the way the template is designed is really weird. But it's there. It's cool. It's dope. Uh, uh fucking success. sick, dude. Fucking sick. Uh, capitalism. I'm part of the problem. Have you have you purchased a tea from Teespring before? I got a free sample from Teespring of one of my own items. What did you think of it? It was okay. It wasn't like the best thing in the world, but people. Uh, I don't know. Like I feel like everybody tells me that they think that Teespring's t-shirts are bad. I have gotten like four t-shirts from them and I I like them all. I I think they're actually pretty good. Uh I do I do get I get like the 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 V-neck. I get like the clap I get like the premium V-neck, so maybe I'm getting like, you know, the choice the choice cuts or whatever. When but they like, say they're bad, do they mean the quality of the print or the quality of the shirt? Uh, I mean, I think Generally, I've heard people complain about the quality of the shirt more than mm. more than the print. 
but right. I might have heard both. I don't know. Because I but thought I've, the but print I've quality never really of what I got was not great. It was good, but not great. But there's, uh, I got a, yeah. I got a, I got a hoodie, and the hoodie was pretty comfortable. I have not really had any big. I think, I think there was one shirt that I ordered for them where the print quality was not great, and the colors didn't come out quite as like vibrant as I hoped for. But mostly, it's been fun. So I don't know. I I still use our fault for not using CMYK files. M- maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, I, don't know. I never do CMYK, even though I should. Uh, do you, does that help? It, I mean, CMYK is formatted specifically to be printed out in physical items as opposed to being on screen. That's why it huh. exists. Huh. Interesting. Neat. Yeah. Curious. Very curious. I uh, went to college for graphic design. <laughs> That's how I know that. Hmm. $40,000 well spent <laughs> for knowing about CMYK and choosing not to use it anyway. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Going to make a mental note of that. Um, so wait, uh, we got, we got one more, and this is another one from Margar, who called last week, and I forget what they said, but here, let's, let's fucking do it. They closed out the show last week, too. They did. They did. Um, weird. I, this must, I think maybe this is their, this is their MO. Maybe they just Mm. listened to the episode, like, a long time into the week, or they must just listen to the episodes at the right time, on like a Saturday night. That just must be their schedule, and it lines up. It's true. But okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. Hey there, PCP. Um, I have a question about the state of the lectures that are yet to come out. Uh, mm. Because I know there are a few lectures that uh, haven't been released yet, and with the state of your YouTube channel and other circumstances... Uh, do you plan to still release those uh, on your YouTube channel? Uh, if not, uh, what's the plan for going into the future with the lectures? Um, I mean, I would assume they would all be continuing to be going up on everyone's individual channels. The only one who didn't do that was me, because... Oh, uh, Hippo. Oh, yeah, Hippo did too with the Vriska lecture. Fuck. Yeah, because like, collectively, those brought in like over 2,000 new subscribers to the PCP. Um, I would assume that, uh, we, we were, like, I think Digi was going to upload hers on the PCP channel. I think that was the plan. And so I would assume that, like, I mean, best, best case scenario, our videos get restored. We post all the content that we have not been posting there, you know, retroactively, and then we continue posting there. And, you know, that lecture, for instance, goes up there. Um, I think Munchie was going to post his on the channel, too. I'm not 100% sure, sure about that. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a team player. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm, I'm bogarting mine. I'm keeping it on my channel. Uh, and um, the, 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 the... Okay, so that's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, I guess, would be that the videos never get restored. But I think even in that case, we're still planning on, like, at some point, just calling it a loss, calling in as many of the lost videos as we can from, you know, people that might have them saved, reposting them, and then, you know, continuing to post anyway. So I think in either case, yeah, the videos that were going to go up on the PCP channel will still be going up there. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. And it's mostly just a question of, like, when will we know what the plan is for the channel and the answer is whenever youtube decides to do the thing it's been saying for a month that it's gonna do and that they could do in minutes but they're just like yeah yeah it doesn't matter dude it makes me (laughs) okay let's let's close (laughs) out this fucking episode of the rant about youtube it makes me so fucking mad that on twitter they like answered me saying the channel's been terminated or like, no, they answered me saying, Hey, the channel came back, but the videos are still gone. All our radcon stuff is gone. And they were like, 
give it give it 48 hours we already see the radcon content back because of that one stream they they saw that the one stream was was there and that it had the same word in the name just assumed that that was what i was talking about and we're like oh no 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 okay he's already wrong no this idiot just doesn't know what's going on with his own channel like no yeah. no no he is fixed no 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 the problem's fixed he just has to figure out that we already fixed the problem this fucking idiot like no no they didn't fucking fix the problem and they don't care and and I, I oh my fuck like the fact that the fact that I know exact and they had a little fucking smiley face and I'm like haha silly that's not real you just imagining that there's a problem we fixed everything we have it handled you fucking didn't you fucking ruined it for no reason there was no reason at all the case was solved you f you fucked up the first time right well we fucked up and then you kind of fucked up. It took a while to fix it, but you fixed it. Okay. And then you came and you were like, hmm, uh, hmm, why don't I just ruin it again for no reason? And that's what they fucking did. And now they're like all being all twee about like, oh, no, no, no. We understand the urgency of fixing this problem. We understand that you want your content back. Don't worry. Our internal team is handling it. <laughs> oh, so, oh, we already see the video back. Like, no, it's going to be fine. Like, haha. Ooh, I hate it. Tom, I hate them so fucking much. Yeah, YouTube is a goddamn nightmare. I mean, it's like I've said it in, before, but as soon as as soon as the videos come back, if they do, I'm immediately setting up a library account. Everything will be mirrored on there. And this won't yeah. happen again. And God I... in heaven, please stop. YouTube is shit. They can't keep getting away with this. Like people's entire livelihoods are on this website and there's just no communication at all. It's like seems impossible, yet here we are. Yeah. I <sighs> Ugh. Part of me wishes they would part of me wishes they would just say, like, now nah, we're just not gonna restore it. Like, stop emailing us. Just just so yeah. we would know. Like just so we could be over and we could like move forward. You know? <laughs> <sighs> I do think the the fact that they're that they're continuing to correspond does make me think that they at least intend to fix it. <clears throat> I think it's giving them a lot of credit. Well, but when I say that intend, I mean that whoever is sending these emails probably has faith, or at least is paid to present as though they have faith that the system will work itself out. You I know, I think it's just appeasement.exe sending emails. I do think they are written by a person. I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't think they are fully algorithmic. They're Google's a algorithms are pretty advanced. They can make reservations over the phone with a real voice that sounds like a human being. Doesn't seem out of the uh, out of the realm of possibility to be able to write emails algorithmically. Um, I guess. especially when they said there's like basically nobody working at YouTube right now because of COVID. God, what a fucking dystopian nightmare that would be if, like, it has just been a robot auto-responding the whole time. Do you think that's likely? It's possible. I mean, this is, if any company was going to do it, it would be Google, right? They're the ones yeah. who algorithmize everything. Yeah, and now would be the time when, like, people aren't work they don't have as many employees. Like, now would right. be the time for them to roll out those algorithms to it cover up the fucking work nothing shortages. nothing is happening, right? Because, like, you would think they'd probably have a thing set up where, like an algorithm is responding to all these emails and masks and then flagging. And then they have staff that goes through those flags and makes changes. But it if would. there's nobody working there, it the would explain just... why nothing is happening. Yeah. It's just sending flags and there's nobody in the office to actually examine the problem. Meanwhile, the robots just like, we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. And no one's actually there to do the work. <sighs> the, okay. The, the weird part or, or a weird part about that is like, I don't want to read the whole thing, but like, um, there was a point in the emails where it claimed to change identity. This is okay. There was one. Okay. All the correspondence has been with someone calling themselves Martin, except for one email two days ago, which claimed to be from April filling in for my colleague. Like, this is April filling in for my colleague. The colleague is presumably Martin. Um, oh. And <laughs> they both they both have like a little Google YouTube team logo at the end of the email, but Martin has a little extra blurb with like links to like protect your YouTube channel with two step verification or whatever. 
It's all very weird, you know, and uncanny. Like that seems like a person thing that yeah. could be true, but then like you watch their like presentation of that like voice thing I'm talking about, and they purposely add in like uh. Mm, they they go out of their way to be like yeah we want to make it sound more human so we have it say um and stutter sometimes to sound like a human speaking so you don't get clued in that it's a robot oh so it's like God. they're thinking about there's these no, things there's, there's there's no way to know like yeah I, I i think it's a person but i can't i don't know i can't, I can't pretend like i'm super confident that it is ah, we're it's getting fucking turing tests tested. yeah seriously that's what they, they've used this entire COVID as a beta test to test their AI. Message to Ben, I'm sorry, I keep sighing. I just caught myself doing it. I apologize. It seems it seems uh 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 worth it in this particular context. This is a sigh worthy conversation. What can I say? I'm just I'm listless. This is this is this is removing all my lists. <clears throat> no complaints about me burping, which I also do all the time. Well, that's funny. Beep. Sometimes. And very in, uh, and it's based and it's and it's it's Chad. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't know, man. We've come to the end of the voicemails. Indeed. You got anything else you wanted to? Any other grievances you wanted to air? <laughs> uh, a live on YouTube, and by live I mean pre-recorded. Pre-recorded, not on YouTube. Right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that's exactly. That's exactly uh, what I meant. I think I think I'm good. Uh, uh, everything yeah. is fucking weird and just taking it day by day, as are we all. Mm -hmm. Just do the best you can out there, everybody. Yeah, yeah. And uh, try not to sigh too much. Uh, you know, it's annoying. But give yourself a sigh every now and then. Don't bottle it all up. It's unhealthy. Sure, sure. There's a health. There's a healthy medium to be struck here. Um, and, uh, you know, thanks for thanks for tuning in. If you want to hear a whole bunch more bullshit, um, what's our fucking Patreon? Patreon.com <laughs> slash The Procrastinators. The Procrastinators. That's right. That's right. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, fucking, fucking join that shit. Uh, get a whole bunch of, get a whole bunch of, uh, fuckity doo -dah. A whole bunch of fucking content for free, baby. Uh, what would you... Did we do a bonus episode last month? Uh, the last one, I believe, is Guns vs. Swords, which was deleted. Oh, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> but it's still up on... Wait, is that up on, like, iTunes? Do the bonus episodes go up on iTunes? I don't... No, they don't. So uh. they're just gone. Sick. All right, well, when... Well, Love when... It. Well, when the algorithm fucking deigns to deal with our problem, then there will be a new bonus episode every month. Uh, that's when we fucking do it, lads. All right. Uh, become a patron, and we love you, and thanks for listening. And uh, we'll see you next week, everybody. Uh, peace, peace out. Good night. God bless. Sweet dreams. Stay woke. Stay in school. Stay, stay on Zoom. Stay on Zoom. <laughs> Bye. Bye.